Today's Jane Austen quote is going to come first to see if you can guess what this video will be about. It's from Pride and Prejudice and we're listening to Lydia talking now. Look here, I have bought this bonnet. I do not think it is very pretty, but I thought I might as well buy it as not. I shall pull it to pieces as soon as I get home and see if I can make it up any better. And when her sisters abused it as ugly, she added, with perfect unconcern, Oh, but there were two or three much uglier in the shop, and when I have bought some prettier coloured satin to trim it with fresh, I think it will be very tolerable. You guessed it? Okay, uh, long story short, I deconstructed my crinoline, because it was just collecting dust and it's really big, so I pulled it to pieces. <laughs> and... Uh, so I could put it into one small box. The thing is, back then I had the genius idea to, instead of just adding a petticoat, I might just put two ruffles over it. Uh, that wasn't such a smart idea, because I could never get hands on enough tool to cover the whole thing. So when I deconstructed it, I had all this tool left and I didn't really want to keep it. So I thought, hey, I might as well do something with it. So I made this. In case you don't recognize this, this is the wedding bonnet of Lizzie in the BBC version of Pride and Prejudice, the 1995 one, or 1996, I'm not quite sure right now about that. So um, I had all this tool and as you can see I did a wire construct just like it said on the milliner side, I'm going to put the link in the description box thing so you can check out her website and maybe some other side where the bonnet is shown so that you can see it and also BBC Worldwide has the scene of the wedding online on YouTube I'm going to add that link as well so speaking about the bonnet so I bought this silvered copper wire and it's just hoops basically that I made that I connected with more wire and that's about it. And then I covered it with the till. It's kind of nice, doesn't it? And then because I saw it, I, ha I had this lace, more left of a lace. I still have so much more of this lace. I don't know what to do with it. So I thought, hey, this fits perfectly and looks just like in the movie. So I'm going to edit. And now it looks like this. See, the thing is, uh, I guess I don't really have a head face, so I look kind of silly. Also, it didn't turn out quite symmetrical. Over here it's kind of bending <laughs> towards the side, but it's still... I wanted to try it out and it was much fun making it and figuring out how the form works and how um, I could achieve that shape. For example, here in the back you can see it's it's bending a little and that was this way um, in the pictures I saw. So figuring all this stuff out uh, was interesting. And usually with a correct Regency hairdo you would have a bun back here, or at least lots of hair, so it would fit exactly on the back of your head. And then up here there would be many, many, many small curls, like really small curls. So it wouldn't look like a baby part. And um, in the movie what you would have, in, in the movie it was a silk toe, and um, I didn't have silk tool because it's really expensive, so this is normal nylon tool, I think. Um, in the movie it had a lace veil, just wrapped over it, over the back here. And then there were waxed orange blossoms around here. And I can imitate that. I have this kind of sad looking lavender. <laughs> it still smells good. Um, what I thought, I mean, this is basically a wedding bonnet, so you could, I guess, use herbs to wrap it around like this. Um, I'm just going to attach these with a couple of pins so that you get the idea, which is really easy. You can attach pins to this bonnet because it's tool and the holes are really big, so you can just stick it through like this and you're not going to damage the fabric or anything. Uh -huh. So... What was I saying? This being a wedding bonnet, you could, I guess, um, use herbs and plants uh, that have some meaning in context with the wedding. You have that a lot with um, 
uh, with the flowers you're holding as a bride, usually they have some kind of meaning, like you take forget-me-nots or white lilies because they symbolize virginity, something along that lines. And so I thought this might be a really nice idea to have it similar, just wrapping around um, plants that mean something in context of a wedding could be really cute. So, almost finished. So, and that's what it looks like. So now if you had the veil around here, it would be pretty much her wedding bonnet. And I think it's really cool. So one more look. I mean, you can see the pin sticking out now. <laughs> I guess if I would wear that at a wedding, which I wouldn't because it doesn't really look good at, on me, I would, I would prepare the flowers so that I don't have to stick pins in there. Even though I might have it stick on the head better. So, one more look at the silvered copper wire skeleton. So and this was just so much fun to make. I mean, you don't really need much. I need, I don't know, two meters of till, but I can't really tell for sure how much because it was left over bits. I didn't exactly measure them. And then you need the wire. That was actually the most difficult part. I can't even really explain how I did it. You just have to try around a bit until it has the shape you wanted. And then I attached the lace, and then it's pretty much done. And I think it looks really cute. Just not on me. <laughs> I really need to find someone who can wear this so that it doesn't look silly. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>